the leg. Didn't get paid for the right hand, but uh, then managed to upend her opponent. Several ways to skin a cat. Well, we move ahead. Women's 65 kilograms up next. And uh, more medalists in action. Hergi Basiadam from uh, Philippines against Wala Mossa from Egypt. Silver against bronze. Quite a difference in height here in favor of uh, the girl from the Philippines. Much taller than her opponent. And she just used that height to her advantage to get Mosa down. <laughs> nice side kick there from Mosa. Didn't score any points with that and looks like perhaps red down first. Look for Bakia then to use her legs. I just saw her slip around, house kick in there. Well, it must be an obvious advantage with her striking distance being out of reach for the smaller opponent. Her just second, keep her at bay. Second time she's used it. Kick to the torso, an effective kick to the torso, earning you two points. She's not risking being struck herself. She is risking, of course, someone, uh, their opponent uh, catching the leg. But she she's not going to be hit. Uh, she hasn't seen Mosa do that the same way we just watched our Iranian fighter do that effectively. It's the difference between a world champion and a bronze medalist, perhaps. A nice push kick there from her loss of balance with Mosa. Having problems with this uh, advantage that uh, Basiadan has in uh, reach, both in terms of hands and feet. She just can't find a way in. Look at the speed on the hands of our Philippine fighter. Leading with the leg and then being able to throw a flurry of punches if she chooses to. So. Oh, and there's a nice oh, wow. spinning back fist from Mosa. Probably our, one of our first spinning back fists we've seen of the competition that landed quite nicely. Came out of nowhere as well. Complete surprise for Basiada. So you hear her corner, that was a roundhouse kick to the face. You hear her corner trying to egg Mosa on to get more techniques out of But Philippine fighter had built up a strong lead there. It's hard to mount she a comeback. She can uh, take that with her into the next round. There's that back fist. The last quarter of that round, Mosa. Well, she did uh, actually get some joy. What sparked uh, that uh, slight revival off was that uh, complete surprise. Backhand. Backhand. Oh, wants to avoid now. Starting strongly. Already has a bit of a confidence boost. She has every reason to believe she can take the fight to Mosa. But Mosa's a scrappy fighter. We see a lot of both women 
fighting out of the clinch, which is a good sign for the fight. That, that right leg of Hergie from Philippines is a great lead technique. Mosa has a little farther to go because of the reach of her opponent. But she's willing to mix it up and get inside to fight. There's an example of uh, how strong Hergie is holding her balance even though someone grabbed, a, an opponent grabbed her leg. A nice right hook. Oh, nearly caught her again with a follow up. We would do well to watch her hands. We haven't seen a lot of them, but clearly there's another gear for her hands. We've seen her use her leg effectively, but. And there's the right hand again, doesn't find the target, but uh, you can see there's potential there. It's not just uh, the smaller fighter who finds uh, difficulty. Such a height difference can be difficult for the bigger fighter as well. Is it, look at that. There's the hand speed you were talking about. Nice combination. That followed another sound spinning back fist from Mosa, but that's one technique compared to multiple. So we see with a Philippine fighter mounting points after points. In a fairly active fight, we're down to the last 13 seconds, but she's been able to weave enough points together that Mosa just hasn't been able to get ahead. Slip. Desperately to get herself back into this, but uh, unfortunately she's run out of time and options. And in the end, uh, double point digits for Hergi. Pretty comfortable victory for Hergi Pasiadan from uh, the Philippines. And that was a semi-final, so she's through to the last hurdle. The final. A gold medal will be at stake. It'll be interesting to see her up against uh, a, a fighter more her size. A lot of those uh, hand shots going over the head of uh, Hergie.